welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would share with you my autumn makeup look. Now this is a slightly more glam look. Um, I'm going out, so it's what I would wear to go out for drinks, meet friends, go for dinner, and it's got an autumn tint to it. So a little bit warm, some oranges in there, some golds in there, and um, so I hope you enjoy. So I've already done my base, which you can see in one of my previous videos, and now I'm going to do my bronzer. Um, so, bronzer, I am starting with a matte bronze, MAC bronzing powder. Now, I just really like a matte bronzing powder because I just find any with a bit of sparkling just look a bit thick. So what I'm gonna do is put that on my neck, on my cheekbones and across my forehead and a little bit on my nose and chin. That's what the colour looks like. So it's quite a, um, kind of quite an oaky brown. It's not got a very warm tinge to it. So that's my bronzer done. It's quite subtle, but it just brings a nice bit of warmth to my face. So moving on, I'm starting on eyeshadows. I do blush at the end, um, just in case you're wondering, I've missed that out. So the palette I'm using is a MAC palette. Uh, this palette is called Amber. So I'm going to be using, first of all, this colour here, which is called Cozy Grey. And using a Real Techniques brush, which is a shading brush actually. I'm going to just blend that colour all over my eyelid. So that's the cosy grey over my eyelid. I always work from light to dark. The next colour I'm going to use is kind of a similar colour but it's got a sheen to it. So it's this one in the middle if you can see that. And it is called Kitties. So on the same brush, I have taken some of the kitties and I'm going to start it from the corner of my eye and just bring it across to the centre. Okay, so that's just created a really nice sheen just on the inner corner of my eye. So this colour is Atacama Desert. I think that's how you say it. It's number 130 and it's a really nice orangey peachy tone which is great for autumn and um, so again using the same brush because we're working light to dark I'm going to take some of that on my brush making sure I get that excess off you don't want to have a big splodge so I've worked from the outer corner inwards bringing that orange in you also want to bring this orange colour just up into your socket line a little bit um, and we'll use a blending um, eyeshadow brush to blend that out a little bit. So using a Real Techniques number 200, this is from their Metallics collection, I'm going to use it just to buff the socket line where I have put a little bit of colour. Now I am going to take a little bit of the same orange colour, not lots, just under my lower lash line. Okay, so that might be looking a bit weird right now because I look very orange eyed, but I'm gonna add a little bit of brown, so like a chocolatey brown. Going back to the MAC palette, I'm going to go with this dark brown at the bottom, and this is called Aromatic. So I'm just gonna use that in my socket line and at the corners of my eye, I'm bringing a tiny bit under my eyes too. Remember, with darker colours, less is more. So always start light and build up. Okay, so once I've done the darker brown, I then take the Real Techniques brush again, the number 200 in the Metallics collection, and do another blend out. So lastly, for the eyeshadow, I'm going to take the colour Kitties again, and I am going to put that just on the bottom and top inner corner of my eye. To do this, I am going to use a MAC brush. Now this number has rubbed off, but I think it's 266. It's a slanted, hopefully you can see that, a slanted, very fine. I think it's actually an eyeliner brush, but I use it for eyeshadow. Next up is eyeliner. So it's a number seven, Stay Precise Felt Tip Eyeliner, and I use color black. The nib looks like this. It's really nice and fine. 
And to line my eyes, what I would usually do is line the eyeliner up with the bottom of my lower lash line an angle at the same angle as my lower lash line so it will be on a diagonal and I'll put a little print um, really fine so I can see and once I've checked that's in the right position I'll then fill it in and bring it along my top line okay so that is eyeliner done I promise I will try and show you that at some point now what I do next is my bottom eyelashes. I use a DHC Double Protection Mascara. Now this is a Japanese brand, I hope you can see that. And the reason I love this mascara is number one, it doesn't flake and it doesn't clump. And number two is the brush is so incredibly tiny that you can get every eyelash, it's fabulous. So I used to buy full length eyelashes and chop them in half and just use the ends but these do it for you these eyelashes are actually halves already now to stick the eyelashes on i use duo glue which is the best eyelash glue around i use the white one not the black one okay so that is eyelashes applied there's no easy way to do it it's just practice so what i'll do once the eyelashes have dried and they are secure i will use my dhc mascara again and go over my top lashes blending in the false ones with my natural lash which obviously starts about here doesn't it make such a difference when you've got your mascara on? Um, so that is the eyelashes all blended, all covered in mascara. Next is my eyebrows. Now I've used this eyebrow pencil for years and this is a Rimmel eyebrow pencil and it is colour black brown number 004. Totally random, I know, but this looks disgusting because I use it for my eyebrows. But I use an old toothbrush, um, not a used one, one that's like a free one from a hotel. So just give my eyebrows a brush through first before I apply any product. Okay, so once my eyebrows are drawn on, this is another very random tip, but I set them with hairspray. So I spray a bit of hairspray onto my toothbrush and then give um, my eyebrows a brush through. So blusher wise, I'm again going with a nice warm autumnal tone. So I am using Coralista, which has quite a nice peachy, I've used a lot of this, a nice peachy colour, which again will go with my, the eyeshadow that I've already used. So less is more to begin with and you just build it up. What I'm going to do is add a nice glow. And this is a new product, this is Bobbi Brown, and it is Cream Glow Highlighter. Just dot along the top of my cheekbone. And then once you've done that, you can then start to use all your fingers and just press it. And you just want to make sure that you don't have any kind of stripes. And hopefully you can see that those cheeks are really nice and dewy and highlighted. Now my lip gloss of choice is MAC Lip Gloss. And I'm just going to apply a slick of that. Now this colour is called Please Me. And it's just a really nice nude. So that is my final look. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you like it. I shall be doing many more, but this is just my autumnal one. <laughs> I'll get it in one more time. <laughs>